Almost every broadcaster publishes story updates and promotions to social media websites like Facebook and Twitter. The process can involve multiple applications and does not necessarily give the broadcaster oversight or the ability to approve updates that are published. Using functionality available in current shipping versions of iNews, users can simultaneously publish stories to multiple social media channels. This presentation shows multi-channel publishing with iNews using ping.fm and hellotxt.com. Utilizing the Action Server feature of iNews and a social network updating service like ping.fm, getting a single story from iNews to multiple websites is a simple drag and drop. The stories can be distributed to one or several sites automatically, or they can be held for review and approval before being published. There are many options and variations to how this can work for you, but here's one simple example. This story has been written and formatted for a typical newscast with graphics and anchor names. These are items which need to be removed for the online version. A check mark in the pub column means this story has been selected as a story which needs to be posted on the internet. We'll select a story without a check mark as a test and look for additional stories with check marks. This brewer's story also needs to be published, so we'll select it as our third story. All three stories are copied with a drag and drop into a queue which has been selected to hold stories selected for web publishing. The stories are reformatted here with the graphics removed, anchor references removed, and everything put into sentence case. The brewer story needs the same cleanup. Once the scripts have been reformatted for online display, the stories are dropped into the publish queue. If the story has a check mark in the pub column, it is automatically moved into the ping hello txt queue. Stories without a check mark, like the terrorism story, are moved to the error queue. Stories which reach the error queue are sent immediately to the system shredder, which removes them from the database. The stories which make it to the ping hello txt queue are emailed to ping.fm and hello txt.com. Going to our web browser, we'll check ping first. Here you can see the social media channels we've set up. To check the postings, you select Recent Posts. If we refresh one more time, we can see the scripts have reached ping and have been transmitted to the multiple sites. The stories have also arrived at hellotxt.com. Looking at Facebook, we can see stories have been posted from both ping and Hello TXT. For this demonstration, we have posted identical stories because we are using both Ping and Hello TXT to push our stories to the various sites. Only one service would normally be used. Stories are appearing on Ning.com and also at Twitter. At Twitter, you can see the stories are again coming from Ping and Hello TXT. And our last site, FriendFeed.com is receiving the postings from both services. Both Ping and Hello TXT allow you to have posting options. If the story only needs to appear on Twitter, both sites allow groups or smaller lists of sites. Once a group is created in Ping, simply put in a hash and the group name, in this case hash Twitter only, at the beginning of a story tells Ping to use the group instead of the default publishing list. This story was only published to Twitter. A ping group can actually be a single site or multiple sites. In addition to being emailed to ping and hello txt, we have the stories in the ping hello txt queue also automatically emailed from iNews to an Outlook mailbox where a web publishing producer can easily monitor what is being published. And also within iNews, published stories are automatically moved to a published archive. This was a simple example of how stories from iNews can be automatically published to multiple social media channels. There are an unlimited number of options for action server automation, validation, and editorial approval. An avid professional services workflow consultant can help you explore the options and create the best time-saving steps for your requirements. If you have questions about iNews or using iNews to publish to social media channels, 
Submit your questions on community.avid.com in the Broadcast Newsroom Forum or contact your broadcast account manager. If you don't know who your account manager is, please go to avid.com forward slash us forward slash resources forward slash how to buy.